Open your favorite browser and then search for GitHub. The first link which will appear here will be from github.com. I'm going to just click on this link and once this github.com website is open you can see on the top sign in and sign up button. If you already have a GitHub account, using this sign in button, and enter the username and password. If you don't already have a GitHub account, you may need to register for a new GitHub account, using this sign up button. Enter your email and click to continue. Create a strong password and click to continue. Enter the new username and check the availability of username. Click continue. Would you like to receive product updates and announcements via email? Choose your option and click to continue. Click on create account you have received verification code via email. Enter the launch code. Few steps to create repository. GitHub is a cloud-based version control and source code management website. If we want to add your project into the repository, first you need to create new repository. Click on create repository. Here you need to enter the name of the repository, and it displays the availability of repository name. Here I am choosing the repository name as Angular. Two types of visibility given here, one is public, it can be viewed by anyone, and another one is private, it can be viewed by only by you. Click to create repository. The repository successfully created. Angular repository. Link given here and you can see the commands for uploading code through remote repository. Minimize the tab and open Visual Studio code. Open the source control initialize the repository. First we need to download and install the git. Click on the download git for Windows, it will redirect to the git website. Website is open you can see a standalone installer and portable installer file for 32-bit and 64-bit available. I am going to install 64-bit standalone installer. Click on this 64-bit git for Windows setup button and wait for a few seconds. Git downloaded I'm going to click on the executable file. And I will just minimize my browser and you can see the git installer has been started and after a few seconds you will be able to see this kind of interface. Read the license agreement and terms and conditions. Click next. Git installation location by default disk C if you need to change select location or click next. Select components leave by default, if you need add click the checkbox to add. Click next. Create start menu folder by default name as git, if you don't need click the checkbox. Use vim, default git editor. Click next. Select let git decide. Click next. Select git from the command line and also from third party software. Select bundled open ssh. Click next. Select use the open SSL library. Click next. Select check out Windows style commit Unix style. Line endings. Click next. Use Mint TTY the default terminal of MSYS2. Click next. Select default fast forward or merge. Click next. Select git credential manager. Click next. Select Enable File System Caching. Click Next. Ready to install then click on Install.
Wait for a few seconds. Click Finish. It will redirect it to the Git Notes. You can refer this documentation and close the tab. Double click to open Visual Studio Code. Using this option you can initialize the repository. You can see the terminal here. And click New Terminal. Type git init for initialized empty git repository. Here you can see all files are under changes in git. Git add command is used to add file contents to the index staging area. Type add dot. The current content of the working tree to the staging area. It also prepares the staged content for the next commit. Here you can see staged changes and minimize it. Next step git commit as a first commit, copy the command. Here you can paste and run the command. Or enter the commit name whatever you need, and click to create a new commit. Next step to rename git branch copy the command. Paste the command and click enter. Copy the remote repository command. Here you can paste the remote repository command. Last step to copy the push command to upload local repository content to a remote repository. Here you can paste the push command. Here you need to connect the GitHub with Visual Studio Code. Here you can choose the sign in with your browser. Here you can see Authorize Git Credential Manager. Review the list and give Authorize the Git Credential Manager. Authentication successful, close the tab. Check the files are uploaded or not. Here you can see files are successfully uploaded into remote repository. Thank you for watching this video.